Here are some Java IDE improvements, including Git and general improvements of Eclipse 202009. Improvements that have been added since the last release in June three months ago. Java 17 support is not yet built in. Due to the Java 17 release date being only one day before the release of Eclipse, but you can install the current preview of the Java 17 support via the Eclipse Marketplace. The built-in Java code coverage is ready for Java 17 and will work with the Java 17 support too. Let's have a look at the improvements that are built in and don't need to be installed. Unfortunately, in the last release there was a bug of missing code completion proposals in certain cases. Or, to be more precise, for instance, inside a conditional block without a trailing semicolon, but with trailing code, depending on the trailing code, no code templates were shown. Or, for a given object, inside an else block, also without a trailing semicolon, but with trailing code, Depending on the trailing code, the members were missing. All this was introduced by a major change in the content assist made a bit late before the last release to fix a bug and to improve the handling of incomplete code. As you can see, it is fixed now. Sorry for the inconvenience. In the Java editor, there is now, in addition to the regular paste, raw paste. In contrast to the regular paste, raw paste does not automatically indent the pasted code snippet or add imports. This is also handy when you want to insert something into a string literal. With no escaping of quotes and line breaks. Of course, the same can be done by temporarily disabling Smart Insert mode. But would you have known the shortcut for that? For the rare cases when it is needed, raw paste in the Edit menu and in the right-click menu is easier, isn't it? There is a new nice quick assist, Control 1. Convert while to do while. This refactoring speeds up your code by not initially checking the condition and it will be provided not to alter the behavior if and only if the condition of the while loop is known to be initially true. The extract superclass refactoring has been improved to handle final fields that will be initialized in the constructor. In the subclass, the superconstructor is called that does the initialization of its final fields. There is a new cleanup in the Performance tab. The Performance tab was formerly called Optimization, but that was too general, since, for example, improving the readability by removing duplicated or unnecessary code is an optimization as well. Performance reflects better what it does, doesn't it? The new cleanup is use string builder instead of string buffer to change the type of string buffer variables inside method bodies to the faster but not synchronized string builder. To replace all string buffers with string builders, including return types, method parameters and fields, uncheck the checkbox only for local variables. But be warned, this might not only lead to compile errors where the such cleaned up code is used, but break your code where synchronization is needed. Now, by default, code completion hides some types that should not be used or that nowadays are not used, such as the abstract window toolkits list widget, as well as everything from Java AWT. To customize what should be filtered, go to the Preferences, Java, Appearance,
type filters. Previously, by default, no types were filtered and this area was empty. Now it's populated with filters for the common stuff. Everything matched by an enabled filter will be ignored in the Content Assist, in Organize Imports, in the OpenType dialog and in Quick Fixes. When disabling the JDK package filter, you have to type one letter more for the system out print line template. So better stick to the defaults. Conversely, you get more rather than fewer proposals with favorites. In the preferences, Java, Editor, Content Assist, Favorites, the static members are listed that should be known as Content Assist proposals even before they have been statically imported. The defaults of favorites have now been extended to include also Mokito's argument matches methods. Apart from the Java-specific improvements, there are also a few general platform improvements making coding in Eclipse smoother, independent of the language used. Have you noticed it? The close button of editors and views has been polished. Also, the dark theme has been polished. By the way, the Save Resources dialog OK button now shows the number of files to save instead of Save Selected, or Don't Save when nothing should be saved. In the past, you had to click Save Selected even when nothing was selected, which was a bit weird, wasn't it? The startup is a little bit faster in 2021-09 once more. The tooltips are now dark. Both the button tooltips and the tooltips to show the text of a cropped label. And the background of a content assist proposal hovered by the mouse is now grey instead of turquoise. The print margin, which by the way is now by default also disabled in the Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java and web developers again, is now grey instead of red in the dark theme. The Git support has been improved as well. In the Compare Editor, when comparing multiple files, the file tree is now compacted, which saves space and clicks. In the upper right of the file tree, there is now a Collapse All and an Expand All button. The right-click menu provides Show In for both files and folders. And when two files are selected, compare with each other, which is useful when a renamed or moved file has also been changed. So it is shown as a deleted file plus an added file instead of a single moved file. In the Git repositories view, the right-click menu provides options to compare a branch, a tag or another reference with a working tree. Starting from a branch, tag or reference, Use Compare with Working Tree. Starting in the Working Tree with a file or folder, choose an item of the Compare with submenu. A minor improvement is that in an opened editor, the shown revision information will now be updated whenever the head of the repository changes. For example, when a commit was made. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release September 2021. If you have missed some versions, you might want to watch the previous videos too. Thanks for watching and happy coding!